Hello troublemakers out there, I'm Matt Catling and this is the next Disruption Session where we interview the biggest troublemakers we can find, we answer your questions to help you get disruptive in life and business. Now let's get started. Hi, Matt Catling here and welcome to the next Disruption Session. Coming to you from the beautiful Gold Coast at the moment, the weather is so incredible. And we're up here at the moment expanding uh, Your Future Now. In fact, we're launching Create Your Future Now Gold Coast in the next couple of months. And we've also launched Perth, we've launched Melbourne, and we're about to launch uh, the US. In fact, we're going to LA as well for Create Your Future Now, and also bringing our network along. Um, what we've also launched in the last couple of weeks is what we call the Troublemakers Network. And this is a business breakfast for high achievers and entrepreneurs that want to be able to you know, connect, support each other, open up opportunities. And the first event that we ran a couple of weeks ago was such a great success. In fact, I gave everyone espresso martinis in the morning for their, uh, for their, for their morning coffee. And we had a whole heap of fun. We had some naughty, um, naughty prizes as well. And, and really, it was great to see a whole heap of troublemakers be there supporting each other and kind of holding each other to a higher standard and really just having a bit of fun because sometimes those networking events can be so fucking boring. In fact, I refused to go to them because I, was, uh, I, just, I just hated them. So we've decided to kind of disrupt the whole networking world. And so if you want to come along, if you're in Sydney at the moment, we're running these the, the first Wednesday of every single month after our Live It Now training. And just check out Matt Catling, M-A-T-T-C-A-T-L-I-N-G dot com. And it has my schedule of where I'm going to be. So today's disruption session, what I wanted to talk to you about was the network. In fact, I believe your network is your net worth. If you've done any of my events, I talk about this over and over and over again. Now, the reason I believe that it's your net worth is because when you bring high achievers um, or people that are playing a bigger game, what they bring with them into your network is opportunities. Now, if you've got your mindset right, then instead of rejecting opportunities, you're going to pounce on them, you're going to accept them. And like, you know, instead of going to a bank to get a deal, you probably want to find deals where people are actually living the lifestyle that you want, the income, all of those things. In fact, if you look at the job market as well, the best jobs are not advertised through Seek or recruiters. They're, they're the best jobs you can find through your network. I know for myself, I typically employ on attitude. And so if I meet someone that is in my network and they've got an incredible attitude, I know I can condition skill sets. And so I will sometimes even build a position for someone that has the right attitude. And this is where you can get the, the job of your dreams and often you can increase your income exponentially because it's typically an entrepreneurial venture. And so your network equals your net worth. And this is what I want to talk to you about today. Because if we look at behind the scenes, what's really going on? Because we unconsciously attract people into our life. And what we're proposing when it comes to your network is consciously attracting the right people into your life. So if we look at the unconscious process, we have a whole series of unconscious belief systems about relationships, about health, about wealth. And these belief systems are harmonic in my belief system. In fact, I believe they have a frequency. And so if you've ever had this experience where you've walked into a room, two people have had an argument. You walk into that room, you don't even need to say anything or they don't even need to say anything and you can feel it. So there is this vibration, there is this energy that emanates from us. And those, that vibration, that energy is really coming from the belief systems that we're holding unconsciously, which is why we often will unconsciously attract the same results, like attracts like. We've done an analysis on this where we've looked at our clients and we've looked at their, their, their network and we've looked at the results that their network's getting and they have been smack bang in the middle. In fact, they have been the average. Some people earning more, some people earning less, but we've even done kind of calculations and they are smack bang in the middle. The average of health, the average of their relationships, their average in terms of their business, income level, every area of life. And so if we look at this, it's really, really interesting. 
we are attracting like belief systems unconsciously. And if you look at the process of rapport, the process of rapport is to simply find something in common. When you find something in common, the unconscious mind relaxes and it creates what we call unconscious trust. And that is the basis of rapport, is when people are like each other, they like each other. And so the same principles is happening when it comes to belief systems. Our unconscious mind is searching for likeness constantly. And when we find that in any area of life, then there is an attractive field that happens. Now, what we're talking about is changing this vibration. And the way we change this vibration is first step is we get conscious and we go, okay, let's do an audit on the results. Health, relationships, business, career, um, your self-worth, all of those areas of life. We do an audit and we go, you know what, are these the results that we want? Now, the thing is, is that the minute you get honest, that's when we can change. The minute, the minute you get real and drop that ego of everything's perfect and all that type of stuff, um, that's when we start to change. So the first step is we've got to get honest about our results. And if we look at our results, these results, re results often mirror our belief systems. Because you are earning the exact amount of money you believe you're worth, you're getting the results in your relationship that you believe you're worth or what you're putting up with, you're getting the results around your health that you believe you're worth. All of this can be looked upon unconsciously and we can look at a whole series of belief systems and they can tell us everything that's going to be happening in your life and the future. And so if we want to change this, one of the things that I do is the internal work. So I help people change their unconscious belief systems and I turn them into kind of positive belief systems where we've got choice. But in order for a long-term transition to happen or a long-term change to happen, we've got to look externally as well. And this is where I say to people, let's come up with a vision in terms of the results that you want in your life, the income level, the business, the health, the relationships. And then we examine a person's network and we go, is there anyone in their environment right now that is getting this result? Now, typically there isn't, or maybe there's someone that's on the way. The next step is, is that we've got to get out there consciously and start to push through those old belief systems and really get out there and start to attract new people into our life that are getting the results that we want. And this is often an uncomfortable process. I share this so many times in my in times in my events and people continually say to me I don't know what to do I don't know how to attract these people or why would they even be interested in hanging out with me and these these kind of little stories are just that they're just stories and the great thing about stories is is that we can change them and the minute we change them we free up possibility and and so one of the things that I started to do, because there was so much resistance with my clients around this topic, I, was, I, I decided recently, well, I'm going to create a network for you. And I'm going to bring in my team, my network, and we're going to constantly grow. And that's why I launched the Troublemakers Network. And I run it for free. I've got, there's a cafe in Manly, Manly, it's called Loco Mandra. And the first Wednesday of every month, we have the whole, the whole restaurant, and then we, we have a bit of fun. And it's so great to see people get out of their shells, um, especially after they have a bit of an espresso martini. The, uh, some of the people uh, that wouldn't normally be talking suddenly start talking. And, and I, I just wanted to make it so much fun and really disrupt, as I said before, that whole networking concept. Now, when it comes to networking, what I want to say to you is, is this. There's a lot of speakers out there that would go, get rid of your friends and family. They're destroying you, all that type of thing. That may be the case. But I'm really not a fan of getting rid of family and friends. But what I do like to do is open up the network and bring new people in, bring new opportunities in. And you can even look at it at an unconscious level. The minute you're bringing someone that is a different level in terms of their results, it's like you're installing a new belief system. How exciting is that? With every new high achiever that's coming in, and if they stick, if you build a relationship, okay, within 90 days, you're installing that new belief system. Now, this certainly was a great experience for me when I was 17 years old. I apologize for those of you that are on this call, on this podcast, sorry, that have heard this, but I was 17 years old and I'd, I'd run along Manly Beach the same way every single, every single weekend. And I'd run past this restaurant and this restaurant uh, is called the Bower Restaurant. And at the time, it was the most exclusive restaurant in Manly. 
And I'd run past and there'd be this table and this table was this group of multi-millionaires. They were the most successful people in Manly. And I would run past and I'd, I'd think to myself, I was 17 years old, I'd done all this personal development. I'd run past and I'd think, one day I want to sit at that table. And then this one particular day, I don't know what it was, I was running past and I must have done a seminar that week or something like that. And I was like, no, Matt, today's the day. And so I turned around and I walked over to this table and I was about to introduce myself and then that little voice popped up in my head and I was like, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. So I sat down at the table next to them and, and then I ordered a glass of water. And I noticed that they were reading the financial review. So I got the financial review, started to read it. And I was like, oh my God, this is so boring. So I put it down and I had this glass of water. And after about 15 minutes, the owner of the restaurant came over to me and said, look, are you going to buy anything from this restaurant? And I said, well, I've got no money. And uh, he then promptly asked me to leave. (laughs) Now, the next Saturday, again, I was running along. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw the millionaires group sitting at their table and I thought to myself, okay, Matt, 90% of success is just showing up and showing up when you don't want to. And so I, again, I walked in, puffed up my chest, got into state. And again, I was about to introduce myself and suddenly I was like, I cannot do this again. <laughs> and then I, uh, I grabbed a table, a couple of tables away this time. And uh, of course, guess who saw me? The owner of the restaurant comes running over and again says, okay, are you going to buy something from my restaurant? And I said, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any money. And he said, what are you doing? You look really awkward. And, and, and I said, well, see that table over there. They're really successful. And one day I want to be successful. So I thought if I met them, I would one day become successful like them. And he laughed at me and he said, you don't want to be like those guys and uh, basically kicked me out of the restaurant. And uh, it was so funny. So I walked out. I was quite embarrassed. And then the next Saturday, this time I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to buy a big bow breakfast. So I was prepared this time. And so I took a $20 note with me and I'm running along and I didn't even think about this millionaires group anymore at all. And uh, so I walked in. And again, I'd like, I sat almost at the opposite end of the restaurant and, uh, and I had this $20 bill and I, I was kind of like, just wanted to go, you know, you know, stuff you, I have the money this time is, is like a, a little joke, I suppose. And then, um, anyway, I hear this voice and the owner of the restaurant has yelled out, the stalker is here. And I was so embarrassed. There is like these beautiful waitresses there. They're looking at me. There's um, patrons of the restaurant. They're all looking at me. And I was just like shrinking on this table, petrified. And um, he, co- he comes over to me, the owner of the restaurant, and he says, come with me. And he grabs me and he takes me over to the millionaire's group table. And, um, and, and they invited me to sit down. And he said, this is the stalker I was telling you about. And uh, they had a bit of a laugh about it. And I, and I sat down and, and they, they said to me, what are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing? You're 17 years old. Why aren't you hung over like everyone else? You know, what, what are you doing here? And I said, um, well, I've done a whole heap of personal development courses. And one of the things that's consistent with all of the courses that I've learned is putting yourself in environments where you can meet successful people. And I said, I know who you guys are. I know how successful you are and one day I want to be like you. And they laughed and laughed and they thought it was, they just thought it was so great. And we had a bit of a chat and we started to talk about personal development. Now, you get me talking about personal development, you want to book out four hours. <laughs> and, um, and so we had a bit of a chat and I was like, I did this course, I've done this course. And it's like, I used to be really dumb, now I'm really smart and I want to launch a business one day. And they were just gobsmacked. Like they were just blown away with my energy, my intensity, my passion. And, and one of the guys who happened to be the most successful there, he said, Matt, I've done those courses. And that's the reason I am sitting here today. And the reason I've achieved all of the results. I take it everything back to changing my mindset and educating myself. And he said, Matt, you are going to be so successful. And that day, they bought me a big bow breakfast, and they asked me to come back, and uh, and and I did. Every Saturday, I came back, 
and I watched these guys. It was incredible. And because I've been trained in NLP, I could start to model their their patterns, their strategies of communication, the way they thought, the questions that they asked unconsciously. I started to model all of that stuff. And this isn't them having to tell me stuff. This is me just being in that environment. I noticed how they communicated, how they did deals, the relationships that they built. And it was so different from any other environment I'd been in, from my family, from my friends. It was completely different. I would sit there, watching them and and they they believe that business was a game and i'd see them launch businesses at the table and within seven days these businesses would be profitable i would see them live this incredible life they said to me matt a business should be set up from the beginning to create an incredible life and again they said to me the most important thing is your network your network is your net worth this is where all of our opportunities come from we are a mastermind group we support each other and, and I thought, wow, that is so incredible. I am so happy to say that I'm still friends with a lot of these guys. And a lot of these, a lot of these people actually are coming to the Troublemakers Network Breakfast. Can you believe? And what's even more interesting is, is that some of them I actually mentor now. It's like how the tables have turned. It is so exciting. And so what I would say is, is that life is relationships. Please don't hide behind your computer or your device. Know that you will unconsciously attract your wounds, um, your limiting beliefs, as well as your positive beliefs. When it comes to building your network, it is uncomfortable. It will activate you, but we've got to keep pushing through it. And the great thing is, is that when you have high achievers that stick in your environment, it means often that you're shifting because like attracts like. Now, it's so hard to do this solo. Let me tell you, I know. That's why I've created the Troublemakers Network. I run it for free. It is the first Wednesday of every single month. Other things that I do to help people is, is that I run Live It Now. And again, I run that virtually for free. We raise money for Bear Cottage. And Live It Now has the most incredible, incredible community. And again, all you've got to do, everybody, is show up. And so if you want to get involved, check out Matt Catling, M-A-T-T-C-A-T-L-I-N-G.com and register for one of our free events. Be part of this incredible community. Um, Troublemakers Network, we're going to kind of treat it like Fight Club. Um, we're going to expand it all over the world. And when I say Fight Club, what I mean is, if you remember Fight Club, the three rules of Fight Club. The first rule is, you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule is, you do not talk about Fight Club. And the third rule, third rule, you do not talk about Fight Club. Well, the Troublemakers Network, we've reversed it. The first rule of the Troublemakers Network is you tell everybody, about the Troublemakers Network. Second rule, tell everybody. And of course, the third rule, tell absolutely everybody. So we wanna build this, we're gonna build this nationally and internationally. We're gonna have a whole heap of fun as we create the most incredible community to be able to support each other to grow, to be able to open up our networks. And remember, your network equals your net worth. All you have to do is show up, everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed this disruption session and stay tuned for the next one. But most importantly, I hope to see you in the Troublemakers Network coming up in the next two weeks. So get involved, everybody, and make sure you make trouble over the next week. Take care.